In this video, we will solve problem 2.13 from the textbook Mechanical Vibrations of Single Resort Route 6 edition. The problem states to find the natural frequency of the pulley system shown in the figure by neglecting the friction and the masses of the pulley. We will start by doing the free body diagram of the mass. We have the tension of the rope, and I will neglect to write the weight because I will measure my displacement from the static equilibrium position. Therefore, the weight will cancel out with the static deformation of the spring. The equation will be, the tension will be equals to negative the mass times the acceleration. Therefore, I have that mass times the acceleration plus the tension will be equals to zero. But we have to find the tension and that tension will be related to the spring system. First of all, let's find the equivalent constant of the spring of these two springs that are in series. Therefore, we know that this will be the equivalent let me call it 1, will be 1 over 4k plus 1 over 4k. Therefore, this is 2 times 4k, which is equals to 1 over 2k. Therefore, the equivalent system is 2k. Now, so let's do the free body diagrams of, of the pulleys. So, pulley, let's, call, let's call this pulley 1 and this pulley 2. So, Pulley 1, we have 2 tension, and then we have the force of the spring equivalent, right? This force of the spring equivalent will be equals to this k equivalent times the displacement of this pulley. So this pulley, imagine that here is a fixed point because it's attached to the wall. So this pulley will move in this direction because we put the x in this direction. So this will be x1. Let me draw it here as well. I call this x1. Therefore, adding forces in the vertical direction give me 2t minus k equivalent x1 equals to zero because the mass of the pulleys is equals to zero. We can say that 2t is equals to k equivalent x1 and we already said that the k equivalent is 2k x1. Therefore, we can simplify the two and we get that t is equals to k x1. We still do not have T or K A X1. So let's do the pulley 2. In this case, we have these two springs that are in parallel. Therefore, we have a force of the spring. And we will name this displacement X2. So we are naming this displacement X2. And we assume this displacement will be equal to that one. But this pulley will move this way. So this is x2. And again, I have two tensions. Again, adding forces in the y direction. I have the force of the spring minus 2t is equal to 0. This will be equal to 2k x2 equals to 2t. Again, we get that k x2 is equals to t. Therefore, from here, we can say that the displacement is equals to t over k, and the displacement x2 is also t over k. The total displacement as you see here, I move 
2x1, here I move 2x2, so it will be 2x1 plus 2x2, and I already found that x1 is t over k, and x2 is also t over k. So I can write that x is equal to 4t over k, therefore t is equal to x k over 4. I will substitute that into the equation of motion. And I have this mx2 dots plus k over 4 x equals to 0. This is the final equation of motion of the system. And with that, I can calculate the natural frequency. The natural frequency is k equivalent divided by mass equivalent. That will be k over 4 divided by the mass, and that's the natural frequency of the system. And this is the solution of the problem.